Hi guys, I got my first baby reborn and her name is Madeline Grace and she's the Libby model. So I'm going to open her. The box is actually kind of small. You can see like with my hand here, <clears throat> the box is only like mm, an inch more than my hand and my hand's probably four or five inches so the whole side of the box box is about six inches seven inches and then she's very long she's like 22 inches I think but I'm so excited I've been tracking her all the way throughout the country as she's been coming to see me and so excited um, just ready to see the craftsmanship her pictures looked amazing on the um, auction and so I just want to I'm just hoping that she looks just as amazing in real life as she did on the pictures so let's find out <coughs> little note in here on top and packing slip and it says hope you enjoy little Libby so I hope so I really do oh my gosh there's her little birth certificate um okay so I have to show you <clears throat> I'll cover up the picture of the baby but you can see here I'll come around this side so there's her birth certificate and um, it says you know um, name Madeline Grace by Cindy and her birth date is February 4th 2014 she's seven pounds two ounces um, and the reborn doll artist is Tasha Jewel and she, her picture, oh my gosh, you guys don't even know. Like, her picture looks so cool. Okay. Just don't watch the other video, like, because there's a bunch of pictures on her before you watch this one. If you already did, oh, well, you know what she looks like. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Oh, this is her bottle. And it's all wrapped in pink and it's a little bow. Let's see here. Uh, there's a little bottle, beautiful baby, and this one's already filled um, with silicone in the nipple, like there's no hole in the nipple of this, um, so it's just a little two ounce bottle, that's adorable, and her passy, it's a Gerber passy, and it's covered with felt on this side, I'm so So that. And then, what's that? Oh, it's baby powder, air freshener. So it's to make her smell like baby. I love the smell of baby. Baby smells so good. So, um, where my exception came with newborns. Um, I've been babysitting since I was 12, and I'm a school teacher now. And I love kids. And I love babies. <laughs> They're just the most adorable thing in the world. I love when you smile at them and they smile back. Um, when I was a kid, like playing with my dolls um, brought me the most joy out of anything I did as a kid. And I was really sad. I didn't get rid of my dolls until I was like 12. But I was really sad to depart with them because it was socially inappropriate for a teenager to play with dolls. And it was about the age of 12 when even, like, the last few kids who were still playing with dolls stopped playing with dolls. Um, but now as an adult, like, I'm so glad that I found Reborns because now I can, like, um, <clears throat> collect them. And I'm going to do some social experiments with her, and I think it's going to be fun and exciting. Um, 
my pl first plan of action is to try and take her onto Space Mountain and <laughs> to mess with the cast members. Um, yeah. So, anyway, so she's right here. Oh, and here's friend. This is Cosette. So, more details about me. I like to travel, and I like my kitty, and I like Les Miserables and other Broadway musicals. So, Cosette gets her beautiful name from Les Mis, and Madeline Grace here gets her name because, as a kid, I loved the Madeline books. Um, so, that's where her name comes from. So... Here's this little bundle of joy in here. And I'm going to leave her there because there's still some more stuff in the box. So here she has a little comb that you can use to brush your little hair. And here's a little package. I love that it's all like ribbons and tissue paper. So nicely done. Smells so good. It smells like woman's perfume, though. Not like baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at me, no hat. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. And then, here's her nighty she came with. And then, oh, that's so cute. Alright, now the part you've been waiting for. Um, I've seen some uh, box openings before, so everyone starts with the little feet. So I'm going to try and start down here with the little feet as well. Oh, there's the scissors, just in case I need them. <clears throat> but she opens so well. She's big. <laughs> like, her, her stomach is, like, overstuffed. Alright, right here. I'll pick her up so you can see. Here she has a little bubble wrap on her feet. And, wow. So weird. Okay. She's just so, she's heavy. Like, in her feet, I can tell how, like, heavy she is. She definitely doesn't feel like a real baby. She definitely feels plastic. Um. Oh my gosh, look at the little foot! Look at the little foot! That's adorable. Alright, so these are adorable. I love the lace on these shoes. Like, they're just so pink and florally, and I like pink and girl stuff. Okay, so here's a little foot. Let me take her sock off. Oh my goodness! Okay, you have to realize that this is the first time I've ever seen a reborn in real, per in like real life. That detail is just amazing. Look, she has little veins in her feet and her ankles. So cool. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, oh my goodness, look at the little leg. It like creased. Oh, that's so cool. And her little wrinkly heel. That's so awesome. Wow. Some people are just so crafty. I mean, I can draw pictures from like books, but I can't. I'm not that artistic. Not to do this. I mean, look at her little feet. They're like, it has a little reflex that the babies do when you put your finger there. I love when babies do that, by the way. Like, it is so cool when little babies, you put their your finger right there by their feet, and they wrap their little toes around your hand. Mm, so, Oh, yeah, my, my fingers are orange because I was <laughs> face painting earlier. But um, one of my students. So, anyways. Um, yeah, that's so cute. Look, it's a baby. Okay. So then you pull them here. Oh my goodness, look here. There's all these little spots. So she's three fourth legs. You can see that it starts way up here. See, she's three fourth legs. Okay, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, so big old stuff body. Like, 
squishy, squishy. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oh, so soft. Little soft. All right. Let's do our hands. We'll do our hands next. Put all that in there. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at these little hands. Oh, they're so wrinkly. Oh, I don't. Well, you can't see. She has a bag over her head anyways. But look, she has these. And she has this. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. That is awesome. All right. So there's her other arm. And again, her arms are three-fourths. So it goes up to there. Are you ready? Now it's time for her head. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at the hair. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Like her hair is so, I wasn't expecting that to feel like that's so soft and, but kind of stringy at the same time. Oh my gosh. Her hair is much lighter than what I saw in the picture. She is so adorable. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here. <sighs> Here's the baby, Miss Madeline Grace. And let's put her. Hmm. She's supposed to have a bow. It's a little bow, too. I wonder if I'm going to be able to find it. Um. Whoops. Knock that out of her mouth. Um, do I see a bow anywhere? Is she supposed to have a little bow and I don't know where it is? It's okay. I mean, the bow won't be hard to make it. I'm sure I will go shopping and buy her lots of little bows to put in her little hair. Oh my gosh. Looking at these little cheeks, it's just like, I want to kiss you, kiss you, kiss you. Let's see here. Okay, so this is her picture online. So you can see that, you know, what she looks like compared to her picture online. Like, baby picture online, baby in real life. So cute. I love her. She makes me happy. Oh, that's still weird. I can't get over the hair. Like, the hair just feels so strange. I don't know where the bow is. Hmm. Oh well. We'll just put our little hood on. Or let me button this here. You can see. Look at that. Oh, she's big. She's heavy too. Her head doesn't move. Her head's really stiff. So her head doesn't really move that well. You can see. I just think she's adorable. Oh my gosh. So amazing. I can't believe people can make this. I'm just so astounded. Like someone made this. I mean, artistically speaking. Anyways, I'm going to have to get used to the, the feel of her hair, but 
<clears throat> have to put some conditioner in it. Maybe it'll help make it softer and less stringy. Because it's soft, but it's stringy too. Anyways, so this is Madeline Gray. So I just want to, you know, um, first of all, I want to say thank you, Dr. Phil, for introducing me to the Reborn community. Because that's how I first learned about them. And then I went online and I watched people's videos. Oh, yeah, she has a heartbeat. Um, so I just touched her thing inside. Yeah. <clears throat> So she can feel like her heart's beating, which I thought was totally cool. The only thing, I guess if I had a dream baby, it would be one that breathes. Because I just think that's so cool. Like, it brings a whole nother level of reality to it. That, you know, you could have the baby sleeping in the stroller and then it's taking breaths. And people are like, I don't know, it's more believable. Thank you for introducing me to this cool little hobby, and um, this is Madeline Grace, and so you should, you'll see more of her in times to come, I'm sure, so I just want to say thank you, um, shout outs to Little X Loves, and um, Jenny's. Jenny Loves Reborns, um, I watch a lot of your guys' videos, I, I, I love the daughter-mother videos because I think it's really something cool that she shares with her daughter who looks about 12 um, in the video, <clears throat> and I just think that's cool, like mother-daughter bo mother -daughter bonding time where they get to share in an activity together, and I think that's really awesome, so... Thanks. All right. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.